Hi everybody, it's Chamber Chatter Time with Jen and Joelle. Again, Jenny and Paige are still not wanting to play with us anymore. Mm, oh, well, okay. whatever. <laughs> we can, we can carry this. How was your weekend? I had an awesome weekend. I went to the Eric Church concert. For anybody who knows me, I love Eric Church. Okay. I know. I'll stop there because otherwise we'll be here all day. He's married, day. Joelle. Shut He's up, married. whatever. I love Eric Church. <laughs> How about you? Um, I went to my niece's shower, drove down to Cincinnati and back in one day, or actually spent the night, but yesterday was just, oh my God. Another snow day. Terrible. Like the trucks were jackknifed and rollover yeah. car accidents. I was like, but I'm here. You made it alive. Yeah. I drove in a truck. Yay for trucks. There you go. Very good. All right. We so. had a great week last week at the chamber. Yeah. Very we did. Good. Lots of stuff going on. Um, I know you were able to go to the ribbon cutting. Um, uh, how was that? Yeah, that was at CrossFit Justice yeah. with uh, Chris and Rose Follick. And it was so nice over there. They're just such nice, I want to say kids because he went to high school with my son. But the <laughs> nice, nice people. His whole family was there. Oh, was Lots of cool. chamber people were there. I think... Um, Here's what's great about that. Um, I, I like ribbon cuttings because uh, there's just such pride in what they've done, yeah. and it's, it, and it's a it was a family thing, and That's awesome. I don't know. I really enjoyed it. I uh, shout out to CrossFit, and I if you guys they they really got a great program over there. If you like to work out, um, it's a little bit different. It's more like, uh, but but it's for all all levels. And they have so, spin classes too, so you yeah. have a little bit of everything there. Okay. Yeah, I got Linda Lowe on a spin bike. That was pretty fun. You know, speaking of Linda Lowe. Let's talk um, about well, Linda Not really, but well, we could. But um, I just want to give a shout out. We have a group of ambassadors here at the Chamber. And for those of you that don't know, our ambassadors are kind of like volunteers that help us. Because there's only four of us here in the office, so it's hard for us to be at everything, do everything. So they help us out with greeting people at events, introducing people, um, follow-up calls to our members. I mean, anything. But we have a great group of ambassadors, and they kind of rotate. And right now, they're led by Tony Shippa from America United Realty and Primerica's Chris Topley, and they're doing a great job. And we couldn't do a lot of the things we do without them. So thank you. Yeah, thanks. I mean, like at the, at the I'll tell you, like at the ribbon, ribbon cutting, cutting, they actually had um, assignments, yeah, greeter assignments, which I, I, I mean, that's really great, you know, to make sure that everybody as they walk in are greeted by. It helps us tremendously. Yeah, it does. So yeah, we're very thankful and. Um, we will probably need them a lot this week on Wednesday because we have a big Buddies and Beer Mixer coming up. Yeah, um, I'm excited about that. I'm very excited. It's at River's Edge Wednesday from 530 to 730. So it's for all of our chamber members. And we're asking all of you that are coming to bring a friend. Bring somebody who's not currently involved in the chamber or... Maybe there's a chamber member out there that doesn't make it to a lot of events. So bring them along. Show them how much fun we have at our events and all the great networking opportunities you can get by participating. I think last year um, we were able to sign some new members we because did. of that. We did. I think that. we got like three or four. I mean, that's awesome. great. Yeah. Let's try and break that. There you go. That's a great challenge. Tool. We have I a challenge. Break, bring some new people. Um, let them see how much fun we do have. And River's Edge is a great place to come well, anyway. And, and, you know, I think it helps when you go to an event and you kind of see. Like last week we had our big speaker with Marlo at Baker's. And we had somebody who came to the event. She had been checking out different chambers, trying to figure out what she wanted to do. And at the end of our breakfast, she joined. So, I mean, she was like, this is great. She met a lot of people. We had some of the ambassadors taking her around and introducing her. And she walked away with a great experience. And now she joined and she's going to be there. Yeah, so that's great. It, it is really easy to kind of test it out and see if it, it's a good fit for you and your business. Well, let's go back to that uh, We Heart Women breakfast. Oh my gosh. I was way, kind of test it out and see if it, it's a good fit for you and your business. Well, let's go back to that uh, We Heart Women breakfast. Oh my gosh. I was blown way. away. Marlo, you are so good. She is awesome. She did a great job. That's such a good job at this event that we are going to bring it back next year on Galentine's Day again. Which, yeah. And so we're excited to do it again. We had 80 women. No, 82. 80. Well, wait, wait. 81 and one guy, John Hovich, braved the braved the troops. So, way to go, John. I thought John did a great job. I'm sure he had a great, I mean, he looked like he had a great time. So Who wouldn't? Yeah, absolutely. Right? And I kind of like to go to a breakfast with 80 men. I know. Really? I would. <laughs> Maybe we should do a men's event. <laughs> hey, if you're a guy and you're watching this and you have an idea on our topic, 
Why not? For us to do for a men's event, shoot Jen or I an email and let us know because we're totally open for it. I think that's they a do. great idea. I Let's do great. that. I know, we just need a good topic. Let right? me see yeah, how so. our brain works. We didn't even think about that Let's just now. It. I think it's good. Um, what, so that was great. Uh, what else? What else is going on this week? Anything um, we else? Alfred Memories meeting tomorrow with our committee. and I don't know. I'm sure most people know, but... Obviously, Milford Memories takes a full year to plan, and we could not do it. We have over 20 people that are on our committee to help plan Milford Memories, and they are all amazing. They yeah. do a great job. They put their you know, time and effort and heart and soul into that event, and it wouldn't be the success it is without all of them. So yeah. tomorrow's our big kickoff with our full committee. We have a currents meeting as well um, on Wednesday. We had a golf meeting last week, so things are really starting to heat up, everyone, and egg crazy. hunt's really going, and yep, yeah, it's again. starting to get really busy. Um, so any shout-outs? All right, I will do my shout-out to... My friend, George Robinson. Hi, George. Hi, George. For those of you that don't know George, George owns the Red Dog, and he owns Powerhouse. How did you not know George? Jeff, and obviously I'm at Powerhouse all the time. Love that place. If you haven't tried it, it's a great gym, new equipment. They have great trainers there like Justin. Hi, Justin. We love Justin, too. And they're just a really good group of people. Call up Jamie over there. She'll give you a tour, show you around. Great facility, great place to work out. So I just... Well, speaking of um, workouts, let's shout out to Huron Valley uh, Pools, Pools and Fitness. Fitness. We did the chamber or the business to business challenge. I think we were doing pretty good. I know. It'd be interesting. We had some dead weight on there, my Your husband. husband. We won't call him out by name. Oh, John Hill. <laughs> All right. You but will. anyway, um, it, that was really fun. I it think, was a really I, good time. I think the people that were participating were really active in it and really yeah. had a good time. And I haven't announced the winner. I'm, I don't know. I don't think we, we had won. a small team, but that's okay. We did good. We held our own. Yeah, so that was great. Um, I hope you guys participated in that. And now they're offering some membership deals with that. So you might want to check that out. Yeah. Anything else for you? Any other shout outs? Because I have a couple okay, more. Um, Burger Joint. Burger Joint is closing tomorrow. Just for a week or two, they're going to be doing some upgrades on their flooring and their refrigeration system oh, cool. because they're so busy. That's awesome. Good for him. Good for and him. if you guys haven't eaten at Burger Joint, mm, fries out of this world, burgers out of this world. I, I like everything I've yeah, ever gotten it's there. It's a great menu. Yeah, everything. Um, also, they're going to do a little bit of redecorating, but they're not changing the place completely. And Brian's a great guy, and you really should go in and meet him. Love, love, love Brian. Hi, Brian. And he does the cooking, the lunch on the turn at our golf outing. That's right. And he wants to be on our committee, too. So, oh, I mean, really great. Uh, Fun. Just great, great guy. Great restaurant. Um, and then... If you are thinking about summer activities for your kids, there we do have some. And I know we have a lot, but we're going to shout out to um, Skull Island, who's got a camp that yeah. is. It sounds so creative and fun. Um, here on Clinton Metro Parks, uh, Oakland County Parks and Recs, and I know Camp Dearborn has a lot of well, stuff too. The Y and the, oh yeah, you know, the schools do too. I think they do like a summer experience here. Yeah, so there's lots of great options for your kids. So start looking into those, and if you need um, information on that, you can go on our website and find. It. So anything else that we've forgotten? I'm I looking at my we list. Gotta, we got You know, they will say we went too long, so we got to stop talking. Okay, we'll stop talking. All right. All right. Have a great week. We'll see you on Wednesday. And Buddies and Brews. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.